we all went out and then like when we were going back home we opened the gate the main gate at our door and then like I, I think I saw the long-haired woman's face. Did you describe her face? Uh, creepy looking. Like, mm -hmm. like, how, how creepy is uh, it? Smiling. Could you do the face for us? <laughs> <laughs> the hair. She always do the hair to pretend like... If she said she saw the girl, then she would Is there anyone here? What did you find? You are listening to Supernatural Confessions. My name is Sydney. I'm nine years old and and that's it. I'm Stella and I'm ten years old. Oh, I, I'm uh, Lynn. These are my children. <laughs> <laughs> this Stella, I think she 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 does lucid dreaming. So we are uh, we only found out this. I think. Okay, like a few years back, but she told us she's been doing it since she was aware. So very, very young. So she's she did not know that we don't dream like her. So she goes to many places and then she, she can um, control her dream. Her dream world is exactly like reality. So she does get mixed up as well. I think then so uh, she, she goes to different places and she smells, she feels, uh, she, she gets dizzy, everything, all that. You know, it's all happening in the dreams. And uh, she, can, uh, she can get out where she wants and, and she also have uh, experiences of a dream in a dream yeah like inception uh. Sydney is uh, very emotionally aware I found out last year she is, she's been seeing uh, spirits I think when well, I realised that she also sees living things the energy imprints on living things they, they, she will see you like for example you are at this location and then she was, later she will see you there so she kind of knows where you were before that uh. so you cannot lie to her she also sees the like higher energy forms like the other day we went to a puja I think so she also saw, when, when the monk was telling everybody to focus, like trying to imagine the light, right? I think she saw the light coming down from another side, uh, from one of the area. Like light, like sh objects and all that, if it's glowing, if it's good, she can, sometimes she can see a spark of, of light. Uh, if it's a, uh, she puts it on. And glowing from her skin if she has light going through. So, yeah, it's quite, quite, quite crazy, right? <laughs> yeah, but I, I think that if a, uh, yeah, anyway, if, if she came to me and then I could help her with it. La. Yeah. I think when she was very, very young, I think we asked her to focus on the heart or something. And then she's like, but she can see a tear there. But it was, it was after some traumatic period. La. So we were like, mm, I'm like, hmm. She says she sees a, a tear in the heart. Mm. I think she also sees, she tells me like she sees uh, true things. Or she knows, in her mind she knows. She can see like I'm behind a wall and she, I'm, she knows what I'm doing and then she opens her eyes and then yeah, I'm doing that same thing. I what? put my hand right in front of me and then I focus on something behind it, then I can see too. Wow. Then you can see through the thing, their hand to see the thing behind it. Yeah. Have you, have you been practicing it? She never practiced, right? I can tell to practice. You can already do it. You can already do it. Very good for exams. Just look at teacher's book. You know Henry Sugar, you never read the story of Roll Down the Henry Sugar, right? It's a very famous story that about this guy, he can see through all the cards and he knows how to count cards, so he went to casino to win all the money. I'm a man who can see without using his eyes. Henry was now almost certainly capable of making money faster than any other person in the entire world. She's a very good girl, she's always very sticky to me. Uh. But suddenly, it changed. She started distancing herself. And then, no matter how I talk to her all that, it seems like she's not listening, you know. And for, for a few months, uh, so I almost like giving up, uh, but I didn't think, I mean, I, I don't want to suspect anything else. Uh, so I had a dream. Then a dream came and told me that, I mean, in the dream, I was informed that she was affected by entities, uh, spirit. Uh, so, and to use uh, a special kind of candles to heal her, because that one can get rid of supernatural, um, supernatural influences, uh, which I had used before on her father. Mm. And then, uh, at, so when it, but last time it cleared the father, and then the entities came out and started affecting her. It was immediately. Uh, so the night itself then, she had fever when the father uh, did the candle healing. And then she started seeing things floating in the air uh, and talking to them and all that. So that was actually the first experience when she was very young. Huh? Yeah, that was the very first experience. Yeah, did you see me? I was, I was looking at you, like, but you were looking through me. She, would, she started talking to this guy and I, I tried to talk through to her. I was like, staring at her but she couldn't see me. For 45 minutes it went on. Uh, so I couldn't get through to her. So finally, uh, then she later, for five times later, she just fell back to sleep. What were some of the things that Sydney saw, that she told you she saw? She saw this, because when she told me she saw this long hair girl with the hair like, 
but then in the kitchen, yeah. Sydney, could you tell me more about that lady who cut with the hair covering her face? Can you describe her to me? A girl that has long hair, you know, like the one that like goes like probably all the way like to the knees, <laughs> and then like the long. white dress one. Mm. Were you afraid when you saw that? that you were you afraid, ah? Uh? Yeah, no. Why, ah? Uh? I don't know. But later I on, when you found out, I was just like seeing things. Have any of these entities tried the to waving. speak to you or communicate with you, Mister Waving? Uh? No, the I, black man. I don't know. I never know if he's facing where I'm facing <laughs> or the opposite way. Okay, tell me about this black man. It sounds very interesting. It's just um. It's just. A um, man figure that just that's just all black, like no hair, no nothing, this just black, hair. and like and like like I hey, usually he's, he's like one of the most no, okay. common things I see. Mm -hmm. Sometimes he's doing different poses. One time I was in my house at the bug, and then like every time I walk past, I just see him at the balcony doing the exact same pose. And like, I saw him like six to eight times because I was just walking past, getting food and stuff. So I saw him like eight times that day. Are there any other things in your house that you saw? There's a woman in white with long hair, a man in black, or a black man. Any other entities you see in your house? Uh, I think one time I saw some person, like a fat man. Uh -huh. And then like Recently. he was wearing a suit just like in the middle of the hallway and yeah. It was during the seventh month, start of seventh month for that. I think ever since we moved back to my parents uh, recent I mean a year back lah. Huh? And I had four kids, so all of them will get fever. And this one, this one, this one, this one. All four keep getting sick for the entire last ten month ten month, ten months, nine, ten months. Uh. Non-stop eh. it's like it's like whatever I try to do I cannot do because I keep having to attend to them. And then um every week every day that someone is sick one. Fever, you know, and usually when she sees things right, she will straight away get fever, then she'll have a stomach or nausea. And things she'll do like uh if she tries to meditate, we try it, okay, then she gets very sleepy. Like that is all unnatural, lah, you know, like as if something's affecting. But so for night ten months then I then I noticed another thing is that um my young, my my old, the oldest, my first son, uh, which is the third child, he will wake up in the middle of the night and crying. He want food. He said, "I'm hungry. Uh, I'm so hungry. I'm so hungry." And then I carry, so I will carry him, and then I will bring him to the kitchen. I will try to maybe give him some food, but he will have start to wake up, you know, a little bit already. But when he sees like I'm making food, he's like, "I want to sleep." So you know, am I okay? So I will bring him back to sleep. So it keep happening. So I was. Quite worried that I don't feed him enough. So during the day, I try to feed him at night more, but it still happens. So quite uh, recurring about one week, twice, three times at that, and it was it went on for the entire period. Then eventually, I I thought about it. Could it be because my husband, I think their family, they went to remove the ancestral tablet, and then they stopped giving offerings because they turned Christian. I think so. Then from what I heard I is that um at, without a proper burial and I mean without proper ceremonies lah. They are the dead, you know, are unable to get nourishment, you know, so they will come come to try to get your attention. So I did offerings. After the first offerings, everything stopped. And my child also have uh, the one that's screaming about he's very hungry, he had rashes, keep having rashes and keep scratching his mouth until it bleed, you know, when he sleeps. But now it's stopped. Uh. So he's, yeah, it was a condition that went on quite long, right? His mouth always bleeding. Uh. Most parents would try to avoid or try to like your grandma or not, not my, your grandma my mom. your grandma your yeah, mother yeah, yeah, yeah. would denounce it like you know not talk about it yeah. but for you what's your take on the supernatural and the potential gifts that your children have do you want to hide it from them do you want to remove it from them or what's your what's your strategy uh actually i think that people usually deny it because they they don't know what to do with it they don't know what how they can help. They they have a they they are worried or maybe they sometimes maybe they feel judged like you know or this kind of stuff because in the Chinese tradition I think having such such a uh, such 
presenting such symptoms, okay, is 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 a is a negative thing, you see. So usually they have this mindset and they try to shush it up, but it doesn't help the child because first of all, if not acknowledging, the child may get confused. Like you know, it it's like uh, you they they start to think that they may be insane. And can, it can be, you know, imagine she's seeing energy bodies of everything so much, you know, it can really stress one out. Um, and I myself was very, I think was, I was very young, so I, I could see energy, I mean I could see things also, so I could see aurans and uh, like lights, astral lights uh, quite a lot. When I was, until, yeah, so and then I started asking my mom, what's all these uh, lights around her and my father and all that, especially in the dark I see clear. <coughs> then they brought me to like, so they bring me a temple, this, that, all, and it was never really cured. And then I find it very troublesome, and so I also don't talk about it anymore. And I feel that um, uh, so a lot of my, and I have very severe eczematism that cannot be resolved, but, but I think maybe it's just energy fields I'm seeing. And I also see like electric current, I can see it spurting out. And these are not normal things, you see. And I can feel very strongly frequencies, and I can feel things. Uh. So by not, by not having anyone to turn to, you know, you 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 don't have a support, you see, and you don't have, you, you you tend to get confused and you do shut down. You know, I don't think it's good to shut down because why? It's not because uh, I want to necessarily develop it, but I think that everybody has their own birth plan, you know, and I can see charts, very charts, you see. So I, I see that, I see her past. I know I see like she's a shaman. She has done you know shamanic stuff. So she this life she does a lot of. Uh, she's a way shower. By 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 denying such stuff that you know you could I feel that uh, it's not fair la, you know because everybody has different abilities la, and, and you're also trying to you're, you're, you're causing a cut off from your own child you know by because she, they won't think that there's something wrong they will continue doing something they like they just don't tell you la, you know and then from there on you break the communication already so if there's really any danger that may come to her in future and it could be quite dangerous especially on the astral bridge right? so you're unable to be there to help her you see by knowing, acknowledging, you don't have to believe first. You could always, uh, you know, go in research and all that and, and try to learn as they come along. You you become a better, you can offer a better guidance for them. Yeah, because I think for her especially, she will, this is her life, oh, uh, a very strong thing for that. Stella, do you tell your friends about the powers that you have or that you power travel have to visit <laughs> BTS and all? She doesn't think it's powers. Uh. They don't think that no, it's powers. No, and I don't have friends. Oh. But you share this <laughs> with anyone? Your teachers or anyone? Yeah. Usually, I mean, it, it, people get, people will reject it. Even their father has been seen. The father is uh, also sees things from very, very young age and talks to all of them. And those who commit suicide, they will talk to the father first. Then they jump down. So the father will see like the, the same guy coming to him, then talking to him. And then after that, talk, talk, talk. Then talk, finish, we jump. Talk, finish, jump. The next day, this, every day the same thing. So this is one of the sights he sees. Usually, he said, most of the time, they are not, they are in their mental loop one. They are quite incoherent and they talk, you don't really understand. So, could be that this, they are stuck there due to certain reasons. Huh? And he has experienced, he also experiences all this, uh, he sees like, uh, everywhere he goes, uh, Pontiana, everything like that, and, and he doesn't, to that extent, he doesn't care anyway. So, he just sees, he just put a earphone and just walk off. In the cemetery, he does, he goes there overnight by himself, just for fishing and stuff. And, but for him, he doesn't really understand why. So when they tell him, he also like, I don't care about them, are they? They're not going to do anything wrong. They, they don't harm you in any way, just forget it. However, I feel that uh, they do harm, some do harm, and they have been causing certain things to happen to our family. And, um, and actually understanding, really going into this to understand, which is why I also come to your channel. Uh, Supernatural Confessions, I also want to understand more. So help me to uh, make sense of what they have been doing throughout this time and in order how to appease them. For example, if you think your ancestors, the ancestors think it's really helping their sickness. I mean, I don't mind offering them food, it's just a couple of dollars, right? To, 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 to stop getting them sick and they could really be suffering terribly. I mean, spirits also, I mean, they have heart. Right? Mm. You know, they, 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 are, they are, I mean, it, it's also good to extend our compassion. Right? Yeah, imagine you're really hungry. The, the candles you spoke about just now, uh, yeah. well, that's very interesting. So. Can you tell us more about this candle? Is it like a normal candle I can buy for 7-Eleven? Or is it a special candle? Yeah. Okay, these candles are... Uh, they work on the astral, astral body, uh, your qi. Uh. So if your qi is... Your, our, we, whether we are alive or not, right? It really depends on this qi and our aura uh, that, that, that creates our aura. And so this candle actually mends from the aura level 
and from the most fundamental level and that means if you have any sickness, any issues, any problems, it clears from there so and stops it from manifesting on the material plane and that's why and this candle is very it, it's not uh, you cannot get it from like any shops or anything it's, it's a specialty candle uh, by uh, by somebody who's um, who's uh, has been trained many many years to make it he's like and it's a very difficult training he has to learn all the spiritual stuff fighting demons blah 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 everything and then so in order to construct this candle, he is also must go through a lot of observances, fasting, chanting, mantra. I mean, to clear his body, the impurities, and it's like an alchemist, you see. Uh, he's, uh, he put all his uh, soul into the magic. It's, it's, a, it's a magic work. Uh. There's a special way, it's about 36 ingredients, and there's a special way of putting it into, into raw beeswax. It's plant-based, vegan-friendly. <laughs> and uh, so all you have to do is just light it. You know, it's, it's all, these, um, all these essences are already contained in the candle through a special way that you know he's pre preparing and it's all form, uh, make, uh, done in a sacred geometry uh, and not you know uh, a special way uh, I mean that you probably can search online what sacred geometry so when this candle is lighted the tea enters your body okay may I say that this candle is a storage it transports the tea to you wherever you are you can use it so you can do it at home you do not need a Reiki healer you don't need a specialist you can just perform it on yourself the candle has many effects when you're doing it for me, I feel every one of my chakra moving. Like it was, the energy, energy flows through. Start worrying on my head chakra. That's the first time I know I, that chakras exist. Huh? So I started feeling the scratching, then the worrying, every single chakra. And then my body inside is being needed. Uh, and I, 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 I managed to resolve my childhood stomach issues with the candle. Because this candle also works, as, because it works at the highest, the most fundamental plane. So every, your emotional body and then your physical body all, you know, benefits from it. Huh? Different people have different experiences during the candle. For her, when she used, right, she saw the light come out from her shoulder. I think it was like white colored, like, I don't know, like white heaven colored. It was like shining from my side, and like here, and it was like here, but it's always like in a blink of an eye. How did you become so brave? <laughs> it was just too common for me that I'm just not scared. Okay. But we have this one thing, right? She will always like, we don't, because of what she's seeing, so we decided that we're not going to go to the kitchen alone or what. So she will always go with me to the, to the kitchen when I, she, just to, even if she has nothing to do, she will just follow me. And just to, pro, she, in a sense, I think she's trying to protect me. La. She likes to act like, like she's uh, possessed. She likes to act like, an uh, like, a, like a scary monster that's possessed with her hair down and try to scare the brother. She freaked the brother out so much, she'll just do like suddenly, then she'll start doing do, do. <laughs> Crawling on the floor. He laughed. He laughs now. La. Last time he's screaming. Uh. Last time he was screaming. You know, Gigi, Lucian would scream, ever, scream and shout, scream and shout, and keep running. Then she would just keep crawling on the floor. Yeah. <laughs> like suddenly, uh, she would start suddenly ding ding. Ding ding. <laughs> then she would just start crawling. Uh. Like then start going faster and faster. <laughs> Stella, what's the, what's the worst thing you have seen? Worst thing? Yeah. Worst thing I've seen? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> One, two, three. Happy, Happy Children's Day! Day. Is anyone here? What did you find? You are listening to Supernatural Confessions.